Hey guys, Night Owl here. Welcome back to my Huku. I uh, just want to do a quick video for you guys. I'm going to be trying to make this. Um, I ordered this off of um, Wish. And these, believe it or not, Wish being from China and sending stuff from Japan and stuff. This is the only, this one and this one are the only two that they have. This one I'll be making in another video, but this one we're going to make today. So I'm going to try. And I don't speak Japanese, so I have used the handiness of a YouTuber that has over a million subscribers or supporters. Um, and um, it's the Japanese Stuff Channel. So definitely go and check this guy out. He makes a lot of good stuff. Um, and uh, so he makes a lot of good things of candies and stuff. And he shows you how to make it and stuff like that. So I am going to watch his video while I'm trying to make this. So forgive it if it's a little bit lengthy. But uh, my trusty sidekick is behind the camera today. So um, he's going to help me. And uh, we're going to take a couple breaks and, you know, see what we're doing here. So anyways, the first thing I want to get to on Saturday, this Saturday, May 12th. I am a creator thon four. Hashtag I am a creator thon four at 2 p.m. on James Cox's channel. Make sure you support James Cox. Hit his um, hit the red button, hit the bell button, and you'll get notified when it starts. If you want to find a channel or a community that's going to support you in your endeavors, especially if you've only got a few subscribers and you want to get more. People are more than willing to support you there. The one thing we don't do is we do not ask people to, sub to support us because they're going to support us anyways. People will go check out your channel. They'll check out your content. They will leave a comment and tell you about it. I went for 28 days. I had 150 sub uh, supporters and I went from that to I'm now at 520 supporters. I mean, I'm telling you right now, and they all support me, and I have grown in 28 days that much. So if I can do it, if this community can support me, it can support you too. So make sure you're there at Saturday, May 12th at 2 p.m. Be there or be square. So let's get to this. So we're gonna open the box, and we're gonna see what's inside. And, uh... I think it's all in Japanese. This should be fun. Okay, so. Whoa, it looks like a ramen noodles package, kind of. It does, eh? Way. So this is what the package looks like. And like I said, all the uh, the descriptions are in Japanese. But it does give you um, several things. This is like a little plate that you can use. It tells you where to cut and what to do. So let's get to it. Let's cut this part off. I don't want to cut it too much, but... We're going to cut this part off nice and neat. Nice. And my scissors aren't very good, so they're not cutting very well at that corner. So we're going to go this way. Should, I knew I should have brought my scissors. That's all right. Okay. Come on. I don't have my other scissors. Oh, I have another pair of scissors here. These might do better. Forgive me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Better? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's take out what's in here first before we cut the rest of it. So this is what comes inside. They have all the different powders. There's this one, this one, this one. Holy cow, there's lots. There's all of these. And oh, I think wow. this one is the sauce for the little things that look like meatballs. And this is supposed to be, I think, like a ketchup or something. Or or for the shrimp, sorry. And then these, of course, are candy decorations for the top. And it comes with a little spoon. And this is your little measuring thing. And it tells you what to do. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go to the video. And I'll check it out. So, this is what he's... See, he's making it now. So, okay. So, there we go. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got this cut up, this is our little plate, and we have our little cutting board, and we have all these little tools down here that we need to measure things out, and my spoon for mixing, and our little measuring cup, and it also told us in the video to cut this part off as well. And what I think is really cute is if you look at it, it's got a little shrimp face. 
there and on here it's got on the bottom you can see more of what it's like so first it's telling me to make this one here with this package here so i'm gonna and it says to put three of these in it so that's what i'm going to do so hopefully this turns out so one two Three, and I'm going to put just a little bit extra because my cup wasn't filling up quite all the way. So I'm going to put a little bit extra. Okay. So then it tells me to add this package and stir it up. Okay. So here goes, guys. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's a lot of powder. I thought that I didn't think there was that much. Okay. I... Oh, it smells good. Hopefully this turns out really Ooh. good. I hope I'm doing this right. This says to keep stirring it basically until... Oh, you spilled um, a bit. Did I? Oh, no. Because I'm not watching what I'm doing. I was looking at you. Um, so we'll be right back and hopefully this will be well mixed. Okay, so now the next part, it's telling us to take um, one scoop of water. I'm going to get a full scoop this time. Oh, my. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to add a little extra. So one scoop in there. And just a teeny bit extra so because I couldn't get it quite full. Just because of the type of container I have. And I'm supposed to be adding this one. Now... It smells really good so far, so I'm really looking forward to trying this in the end. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so just gonna check the video. Okay. This guy is really good. It, please, guys, the Japanese stuff channel, go check him out. He's really, really good. I want to get this. Okay. Thing. Yeah. So we're gonna stir this up, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've mixed it up, and this is what it looks like now. He He's instructed to put it in the side that has the ripples in the bottom. So, oh, I missed some over here in the corner, so I don't want to miss any. So, and press it down a little bit, and then we are supposed to lift it out a little bit with the spoon. Oh, I'm really afraid. I don't want to wreck it. I don't either. Oh, wait. This Can you pop it out? Little, yeah, I'm trying to. Because it doesn't matter if it gets wrecked. We don't make any extra. Okay, so look at that. So there we go. Little ripples. Little ripples. So there we go. Okay. So, and we put it on here. And we use this to cut them into little french fries. I'm so excited. This is turning out okay. But you want me to get you a book or something? No, I'm okay. All right. There's one. I really can't wait to try these. I could actually do this with my finger. Are you it sure? might be a little bit easier, knowing that I'm going to be the one eating it after. Hey. Well, you too, but you know. <laughs> oh, wow, Mom. Thanks. Yeah. I still love you, though. I still love you, too. Yeah. Because you're a good kid. Okay, so... I'm going to do this with my hands just because I don't have a hard surface here. All right. So there's another mm. one. They look all right. They don't look bad. I'm not sure if I had a knife, it would have been better. They don't look exactly like what it does on the picture, but that's just like... It and looks again, awful. I am not from Japan. <laughs> okay. We're just going to cut this one in half just to get to it because that's really cool i just want to eat it right now okay so these french fries we're going to place them on our plate so they're ready for when the rest of our food's done yeah. all righty so there's our fries okay so on to the next one we'll be right back and check and see what the next thing is okay so the next thing that we have to do is take the same dish that we put the french fry stuff in and we need to add one scoop of water again just a little bit extra because my little cuppy doesn't fill up all the way <laughs> it's so <laughs> tiny i know isn't it cute this is so much fun yeah um, okay so and it says to add the red packet so then this is for the shrimp 
It's just like opening uh, Mr. Noodle packets. Yes, and all the flavor packaging. Yeah. And we're going to put this in here. And we're going to mix it. Yay. Yay. We're going to mix it up. Okay, so now that we've mixed the red packet, uh, we put it in here. <laughs> and I'm going to do this part with my fingers because I don't mind getting a little mucky. It is going to stick to me a little bit, but I don't care. And we'll do this a little bit with the spoon. Get it down in here into the little crack so it gets the little pattern on it and everything. Just like a shrimp does. And, of course, my favorite seafood is shrimp. Hey, so is mine. So that's really good. Well... Other than sushi, but yeah. yeah. So there yeah. we go, and we'll let that sit for a bit, package. and on to the next thing. Okay, so next one we're supposed to do is this one here, which is to be like our little, I guess, pumpkin mold cake, right here. So we're gonna do this one, and it says we're supposed to add two of these to it. So we are gonna do that. One. And two, and like I always do a little teeny bit extra because of that. Okay, so we're going to mix this one up. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this. It's really cool. I can really see cool. where Japanese people love to make these little candies and stuff like that. It's so worth it. So we pour it in here. Okay. How much time do I have left? Mix it up. Okay, and uh, okay, so now that we've mixed it all into this little paste, we're gonna put it in this little mold. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells so good. Oh, oh it does. It smells super good. It smells like. Um, so we push it down in here like this, and hopefully. I know, it looks like really bad. Hey, oh, you're goodness. trying your best. This is your first time ever doing this. Mom. I really like it, though. There we go. Should be okay. So, there we go. And we're going to let that sit for a bit. And on to the next step. Okay, so now that we've got the mold all done. Oh, I'm trying to pop out really careful. Gently. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh there's still a little powder, but that's okay. It'll it, still it actually beautiful. looks pretty cool. It looks pretty good. I should have did the extra step. So we'll put it here until the rest of it's done. And uh, on to the next step. Okay, so our next step, it says, is to take this top line and cut it here. Yeah. Okay. And then it says to open the package. Yeah. I need little fingers. <laughs> okay, so it says to open the package. Take... Two things of water, which are going to be kind of hard to pour in, so forgive me if I make a little bit of a mess. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty yeah. fleek. One. And two. And a little smidge extra. Okay. And then we mix it. <laughs> and then on to the next step. Okay, so now that we've mixed all the red powder in here with a couple things of water... We roll down the side so that keeps it from seeping out on us. Okay, and then it says to take this one. Okay. And put it in here. Um, with a couple things of water. And then we'll mix it. And then on to our next step again. Okay, so now that we've mixed the brown we mix it a bit in our hands kind of roll it into a ball and then it says to separate it into two meatballs so uh, I'm just gonna, can i roll up one with my one hand uh you're gonna get it all mucky we'll do Fine. the next time we do it and put it i guess put it in here for now because this has a sauce that we have to make for it too so yeah. there we go so we uh, just i think did we make the sauce i don't yeah, know i don't know but there we go. So there's the two, two little meatballs. So we're going to check out the next one. Okay, so now we have to, I'm going to cut exactly on the dotted line. Because I don't want to do this wrong. 
Okay, and then we have to. Oh, look, I didn't mix it very well. Oh, <laughs> excuse you. It fatted. It fatted. A little fatty pad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so it says to put it on here a little bit. And then to mix it around, oh. mix them around in it. A little bit like it's sauce. Don't mix it too hard because maybe you might smush them. No, I'm not going to smush them. We'll put a little bit more on. Get tooted again. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get them nice and glazed up like little meatballs. And put them on our plate. They're really, really tiny. So, on to our last couple steps. Okay, so now it tells us to take out our little jelly mold that we made with the little happy face on it. And we're going to put a few of these inside it. So it's like a little submarine sandwich. And we're also going to take a couple of these. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. Don't run away on me. One, two... And put them in the middle of our little cake. <laughs> and we'll put those over here. And we fold it up. And our leftover jelly. And we put... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't want his eyeball to stretch. Okay, there's one. Well, it's... <laughs> kind of derpy. Oh, no. <laughs> no, all right. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure Japanese people are laughing their butts off right now. Okay, so on to our last step. Okay, so on to our last basic step. This is telling us to take, um, there's too much shade, you can't see. Okay, so I only have a couple minutes left on my phone. So one, two, Three, four. Okay, and we'll show you the last step in a minute. Okay, so now it's telling us to put this in the water. Oh, and it sounds like popping candy. Oh, That's you know what? That's so I awesome. This is the shrimpy part. This is the shrimpy part. So we're going to... I'm gonna mix it up a little bit in here. I got the shrimp. And it's supposed to smell like it's... Like it's grilling. Uh, like it's grilling. You gotta hurry though. Okay, and on to our last step. Okay, so I made a really major boo-boo. You're supposed to put the powder in here, roll it in there, but we're just gonna do this in here. It makes it so much better. Who cares? I don't know. Uh, I made it, yeah, a big mistake, but we'll just scoop it out in here. And we can eat the rest of that later anyways. But you can hear it. It sounds like it's frying. And there we go. It's all done. So, can you hear that? Okay, so now we're going to taste it. Okay, so here's our finished one. I really screwed up in the shrimp, but everything else looks good. So, we're going to try it now. So, there we go. Blah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's sweet. Ooh. I like it. But it's good. I really like it. Okay, I'm going to try meatball. Okay, right, I'll take one. And go for it. Chocolate meatball with strawberry topping. Mmm. Well, um, so that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great night. Bye.